Hi guys, this is Iman Sheikh Ansari, and this video we will cover how we could have sun pass. So, I go to the second sun tab of Ladybug and bring up the Ladybug sun pass onto my canvas. So, as you see here, we have only one mandatory input, and that's location. So, I go to subset of sub tab of zero and bring up Ladybug construct location. So, here I have. As you see, it has some predefined value which all equal to zero. So, I, if I plug it in, you see this sort of chart. So let me really customize it. First, I give it name. I bring up my panel and write to run. Sorry, to run. And toggle it in. And bring up 35.41 as a latitude and 51.15 for latitude. So I construct a location for to run. But let me go over and see how we could customize this sort of data. As you might see here, we have something called HLYs, which means hour of a year. So, in the first step, we have analyze data, we have ladybug calculate HLY, and we have one for grading ladybug analysis period. Let me start by ladybug calculate HLY. So, I want to have, uh, I want to see what my uh, sun look like when is we have 12 as a month, 21 as a day, and 12 as an hour. So, we create an HLY, and as we toggle it in, you see a first that will appear here. So, let me go over as if what we did from output. First, we have the vector, and we could visualize it by uh, display vector. Uh, we have some points here as an anchor, and vector here, and you could hardly see. Let me bring up another display vector, and here I have point vector, and as a width, I would probably toggle 100. And you see the side which uh, the sun vector is. So you might say it's not so much useful, but I totally disagree with you. Let me go over and show you some great feature that Ladybug will bring up to you. First of all, instead of calculate HOY, I bring up an analysis period and toggle HOY to HOY. So we have now sun for every hour of the year. Uh, we have something called solar time here. As you put a toggle on it, uh, and I bring up a toggle to true. You see this sort of visualization, but I'm more convenient with uh, to know what uh, the arc of the sun will look like and where the sun is actually, uh, where the actual position of the sun in the sky. And we could also have some uh, projection that we could manage. For example, if I type uh, artographic and toggle to projection, it will uh, change my projection to a 2D. Uh, notice something, my unit here is millimeter, so my sun pass is really big. And you could see what aerographic uh, projection will look like. But, as always, there's a but, uh, we have something called here Ladybug EPW map. So, I toggle Boolean toggle, open an EPW map, and uh, let me choose to run and go peel into Quickboard. And there I bring up my download weather and bring up the panel, paste the link, and let me. Uh, it's a problem that you might face too, as uh, the EPW here is not found. So uh, you could download the EPW from from another side. But let me change uh, from to Montgomery Airport. Uh, I hope we have it. Yes, we have. And bring up my import uh, EPW into my canvas. EPW and the most coolest feature that Ladybug have. Uh, in data tab, if I toggle a dry bulb temperature, now I could know what sun, uh, what is the sun position and what is the dry bulb temperature at that exact time. And as you might remember from the previous video, here in the statement, I could write something like A is larger than 20 to find that in which hour of the year I need uh, sunshine. It's about 20 degree. And here we see it's necessary to have sun shading in these hours. And as you see, there is a really, really cool thing here. Uh, you might heard that uh, some vector from west are usually hotter. And here is what it actually look like in eastern when uh, the sun goes up. Uh, we have some uh, cooler uh, day. Let me break this and to see it clearly. We have some cooler degree. And as we go to the night, uh, we see the dry bulb uh, will rise due to the fact that uh, we have uh, uh, the surrounding environment absorb the radiation and the temperature goes up. But uh, you might say, uh, okay, what's the our use of this uh, diagram? And uh, let me bring up to you a very, 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 very uh, cool feature. At first, uh, as you might remember from previous video, I could bring up a display 
I could bring up a preview and in my custom preview I target compass and my legend and bring up a, a color swatch and turn it to black and now I have uh, I could also do this for um, any sort of other uh, feature that I want so now we have our song pass and uh, let me toggle another one too and compass and here it's in the third tab and almost geometry we have ladybug direct some hours and what it do for us it take the vector we have and i should bring up a geometry uh something i should do that uh that said geometry fail grid size fails and one fail so at first i change my unit setting to uh meter and probably i should uh recompute my uh code uh, in order to have some better uh, visualization or more accurate one let me talk so i bring up a box which is let me enable my grid snap 10 by 10 with the height of 10 and uh, let me have a sphere which is one by one by one and i could uh, have scale it in 1d and make it look like sort of a tree for me and copy it around to show you what it, it can do so we have geometry here i bring up a geometry i click on the box that I want to have the analysis on and set one geometry and bring up a second input and set multiple geometry plug it to context as you see we have one other mandatory input and that's grid size I put one as a grid size and the last thing I should put here is one but here I have some uh, input card parallel uh, which uh, use all the power of my CPU so I toggle parallel and run it in order to calculate it faster and click on it so let's turn to true and there we go we have our sun analysis results so as i zoom here we have uh, 4421 hours that our roof have a direct sun so and of course due to the fact that i put my trees in the upper side and northern side of my box it can cast any shadow so as i move it to the files i could probably see some changes and let me turn this off and also it's not much visible at least for me so let me grab something and put it more near to my box to see whether it works or not you see there is some uh, shade that has been casted over our box and there is one other cool thing you could do too so i turn my run toggle off and instead of putting tree I could put, uh, I could bring up a rectangle and have a planar surface here and I could toggle our planar surface as a geometry and my box as a context and turn my toggle to true and what it does for me it sh probably would show how uh, my surrounding surface would cast uh, my box shadow And as you see here we have my surface and I could see where the shadow is casted. As you might say it's somehow symmetrical. It's due to the fact that we calculate every hour of a year. So if I toggle back my uh, 21 of uh, December, sorry, I mm, accidentally toggle DOY, which is day of a year, I should toggle it hour of a year. You could see probably more a visual casting and here as you might remember, I could bring up my uh, legend parameter and maybe bring up a swatch which is a uh, yellow for if casted and bring up a swatch black for when we have uh, cast a shadow and toggle it to legendary sorry I should toggle it reversely and here you see a very very nice view I could uh, hide and uh, preview my mesh edges and here you see very clear and beautiful presentation of what I could also bring up a, a swatch panel or Instead of toggling my geometry to the context, I could toggle my geometry, let me delete it first, and now let me select everything on my canvas and set it as multiple geometry. Uh, it has some interfere because I have polyline as a rectangle, so I should always toggle my surface in order for it to work. And here you see a better presentation where the sun uh, vector would uh, bring up a shadow cast for us. I hope you enjoyed it. That's it for this uh, video.